Something down there, under the water, has been damaged. You mean the village? My mum was born there. She was very small. She remembers them flooding it. The trees and houses slowly disappearing. I used to imagine everyone swimming underwater at school and books floating down the corridors. You know when you've heard a story so many times it becomes a memory. Some of us remember things we didn't see. In Lancos village they're rationing water. Lots of the children at school haven't had a bath in weeks. Same in Manchester. I can't water the school allotments, everything's dying. Can't you fill that from the outside tap? The hose is on the outside tap to water the beans. I need this for the tomatoes. They can wait until after lunch. No, they can't. They've waited long enough already. Don't blame me. You asked me to look at the fridge. You thought it was defrosting. I didn't say take the back off. There was a puddle underneath. Your dad. Now that he's retired, he never stops taking things apart. Oh, rub salt in it. Just as well I have got time on my hands. There's always something leaking in this house. Might as well live at the bottom of the sea. I can see it now. The great shining water. It's coming. Faster than horses. Stronger than the wind. Taller than the church. Louder than storms. Death is too bright. <laughs> 